Hello from Celadon Lotus. We are here with orange and black chocolate pear jack-o'-lanterns. It's a fun two ingredient recipe that's super easy to make. They're very easy to carve. They don't require any fancy tools, just what you already have in the kitchen. Pears are in season right now, so they're easy to get and inexpensive. It's fun to put in a loved one's lunch. How special would it be to open up your lunchbox and find one of these cute, adorable jack-o'-lanterns? These guys were done to look like your traditional jack-o'-lanterns, just with the carved mouth and the triangle eyes. They're also filled with chocolate. This one is a heart. This is a loved one. This is a fun zigzag pattern, like what you'd find on a traditional jack-o'-lantern. And this is a butterfly with the antennas up here. Supplies used are easy cutting tools that are available in almost every kitchen. This is an apple corer, a melon corer, and then just serrated knives. Pairs of your choice. I chose orange and red because it was closer to the look of a jack-o'-lantern. I like it when they can stand up straight because we are carving them. The erect standing up seems to work better. However, if they fall over, you can flatten the bottoms to make them stand up a little bit easier. Candy melts. I chose black and orange for a Halloween theme. However, they're available in any color under the rainbow. I've seen them at Walmart, at Target, at most of the major craft stores. And then these easy squeezable bottles. This is for pouring the melts in the bottles and melting it. Now that the pair of jack-o'-lanterns are carved, we now have our candy and our bottles, which we are going to put the candy inside the bottles. If there is any leftover candy inside these, it's not used. Squeeze as much as you can out the remainder, take off the top, put it in the freezer, and then bend the bottle after it's frozen and it'll squeeze out the excess candy into chips which are delicious to eat as a snack. For now, let's open up our containers. our black bottle and our orange bottle. I will microwave each of these for one minute and then after that in 30 second intervals stirring every 30 seconds until it's able to melt and I can put the top on each of the tops come with a small hole for decorating. Here's the melted chocolate and it's creamy and I kept massaging it with my hand right here till it's nice and creamy. It's hot but not too hot to handle. Same with the orange, nice and smooth and creamy.
This is a butterfly pear jack-o'-lantern. For more reviews, how-to, and creative project idea videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on social media.